Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next concept in advanced computer architecture is the conditions of parallelism. So before going to see the different conditions of parallelism, let's have a look on what is an independent uh, parallelism and the dependency of parallelism. Actually, uh, the ability of executing several program uh, segments, if you take the several program segments, so the ability to execute these several program segments in parallel, if they want to be executed in parallel, it requires, it requires each segment uh, to be independent of other segment, right or wrong? Each segment to be independent of, independent of other system other segment whenever uh, one segment is independent of other system then only they can execute in parallel if suppose if they want to execute it in a by using the dependency means obviously each segment will be dependent on the other segment so whenever the several program segments wants to be executed in parallel requires each segment should be independent of the other segment so here the program segment cannot be executed in parallel unless they are independent so, unless they are independent, then only they can execute in parallel. Otherwise, they are not executed in parallel. So, that is the main thing. So, the one thing you have to remember that the program segment, whatever the program uh, is divided into segments. So, these program segments cannot be executed. Cannot be executed in parallel. Unless they are independent. Unless they are independent. So, independence, if you talk about the independence, it comes in several ways, several forms. There are so many forms out there if you are talking about the independence. But coming to the dependency of parallelism, whenever we are, uh, if the, to describe the relationship between the uh, statements, we obviously needs a dependency graph whenever we have a dependency graph then only we can describe the relation between each statement so coming to the dependency there are three types of dependency parallelisms are there three types of dependencies of parallelism Again, I am repeating students, whenever you are talking about the independent, there are several forms are there. There are several conditions of the for independent. If they are independent, there is no concept of uh, uh, working on the, uh, depending on the, searching for the other segment. Okay, what that segment is doing means whether it requires for us or not, you are not searching for that. So, independence comes in several forms. But the concept here is when we are talking about the conditions in parallelism, we have to concentrate on dependency of parallelism. So, the, there are three different types of uh, dependencies of parallelisms. There are data dependency. These are the very important concepts. Data dependencies. Control dependency. Control dependency. And resource dependency. So when you're when you're working on the parallel concept, par, uh, parallel working on the parallelism. So we have to concentrate it on these dependencies if the system segments are working in parallelism. Okay, the three different types of dependencies of parallelism are data dependency, control dependency, resource dependency. So, if they are independent means uh, program uh, independent means then uh, they can occur in several forms. But coming to the dependencies, these are the three different types of dependency. Okay, so actually I want to explain you before going with this uh, the different the three types of dependency parallelism in this video I want to give a clarity on what is this dependency analysis first of all if you understand what exactly the dependency analysis then you can work on that the three different types of dependencies For, first let, let me explain you about the dependency analysis I am always talking about that dependency uh, one statement, one segment is dependent on another segment. What is this means? Let me explain this. Dependency analysis. Suppose if you take one segment, one statement or segment anything is A is equal to B plus C. It is performing an operation A is equal to B plus C. Let me take the another segment. D is equal to A plus E. So these are the 
three state uh, two statements they are uh, working on the parallel but when they are working on the parallel uh, actually the program segment cannot be executed in parallel unless they are independent they cannot be executed unless they are independent but here there is a dependency is there so the first s1 is executed suppose first s1 is executed next s2 has to be executed the first it has to be executed so whenever b plus e is performed the result will be stored in a and this result is going to be used here so that's why first s1 has to be executed next s2 has to be executed that means s2 is dependent depend dependent on s1 dependent on s1 okay so that means here dependency is there in these two statements the dependency is there so that means you are analyzing whether the statements are dependent to each other or not so here dependency is there suppose if i take the another statement like let me take a is equal to b plus c and d is equal to e plus f if you clearly observe here these two statements there is no dependency so in this two statements there is no dependency but here there is a dependent relationship between the two statements are there so this analysis represents the graphically using task dependency graph so with the help of the task dependency graph we are going to analyze the representation you are going to represent the uh, equations graphically using task dependency graph so this is what about the dependency analysis in the next video we will discuss about the three different types of uh, uh, dependencies of parallelisms data dependency control and resource so first i'll explain the data dependency in the next video thank you